So good morning students. Uh, welcome back. Today we will discuss numerical uh, based on law of addition. As you know last time we did the triangle law, parallelogram law for adding the vector. Okay. Now we will discuss uh, numerical based on that addition of vector. So let's start. First of all I am going to explain the language of this numerical. So look at students. The greatest and the least resultant of two forces acting at a point are 29 Newton and 5 Newton respectively. Okay. If each is increased by 3 Newton, find the resultant of two new forces acting at right angle to each other. First of all, you can take a screenshot of this question. Okay. Now, students, I am going to remove this uh, question. Just remember the word greatest 29 and least is what? 5. Then we increase by 3 Newton. Okay. So look at students. I am going to solve this. The greatest force. Let the forces are F1 and F2. Let the forces are F1 and F2. So what will be the greatest? The greatest force when we add both. So F1 plus F2 that we are given clearly as 29 Newton that will be greatest when we add that will be the greatest force obvious when we subtract uh, that will be the least force so what about least force F1 minus F2 and that we are given as 5 Newton okay students now second so first we will find the F1 and F2 so adding both first and second minus F2 plus F2 can stop F1 F1 will write 2 times F1 okay 29 and 5 that is 34 and 2 f 34 so f is what 17 newton okay when f is 17 <coughs> put here 17 using equation first put here 17 from equation first f is what 17 plus f2 equals to 29 so if you want to get f2 29 minus 17 it will come as 12 Newton. It will come as 12 Newton. So that is the value of Fn and F2. We got the force Fn and F2. Okay. We are given their maximum value and minimum value. Okay. Maximum is 29 and least is 5 Newton. So it will be maximum greatest when we add. It will be minimum least when, it, when we subtract. We made two equations and we saw we got Fn and F2. Now what is the remaining part? He is asking now the force, each force is increased by 3 Newton. Okay, students. So now I am going to remove this portion. What is new F1? Old F1 is 17. Old F2 is 12 Newton. What is new F1? So we can write as F1 dash. 17 it increased by 3. Added 3 and it becomes 20 Newton. This is new F1. What is new F2? F2 dash will take as. 12 it is increased by 3. Old F1 increased by 3. Old F2 increased by 3. Now it become 50 Newton. F, F from this and F to this is new force. Inclined with each other by 90. Theta is what? 90. Now we have to find its resultant force. Uh, we know in uh, law of addition, what is the formula for resultant force? We know very well. Now we can remove the language of this question. Okay. We are given that the force F1 F2 we found actually and theta is 90, they inclined with perpendicular. So what is resultant force? By law of vector addition, we can use triangle law, parallelogram law, magnitude is same. That is R equals to A square plus 2AB cos theta plus B square. On account of that, we can write as F equals to F1 dash square plus 2 F1 dash F2 dash cos theta okay and F2 dash square okay put the value we got the values F1 dash is 20 20 square plus 2 into 20 into 15 cos 90 theta is 90 f2 is what 15 square 
बिलो स्टूडेंट्स कॉस नाइनटी जीरो सो दिस टर्म बिकम जीरो ट्वेंटी स्क्वायर फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन स्क्वायर टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड विल टेकिंग स्क्वायर विल गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर सो व्हाट इज द रिजल्टेड फोर्स ऑफ न्यू रिजल्टेड ऑफ न्यू फोर्स रिजल्टेड ऑफ न्यू फोर्स व्हाट ट्वेंटी फाइव न्यूटन ओके स्टूडेंट्स